Hey guys, this is Pushkar Dua from Gadget Geeks and today I'm gonna show you how to change your DPI of any Android phone. <clears throat> so, what you gotta do is, um, first thing you need to do um, is root your Android device. So you should have a rooted device and to check that if your device is rooted, uh, you can use the root, app, uh, root checker application and uh, the link will be in the description or you can see how to root your Galaxy S3 or Galaxy S2 uh, I'll post the link also uh, and this uh, thing you need one more application named as file patcher uh, sorry file explorer um, that has capability to uh, be a root explorer so what you need is um, <coughs> just uh, op install the file patcher, uh, file explorer and then open it and open the settings and check root explorer and mount system folder is checked. So once you see that uh, this is um, checked, what you need to do is uh, go back to the root menu and then go to system folder by the way if you don't have the application I'll post down the link for the APK as well as the Play Store so <clears throat> uh, where were we uh, actually we were in the system folder and we see a file named as build.prop here and we'll open it as a text and open it with text editor and we'll find uh, something like um, what is it called ro.sf lcd density equal to 241 this one so okay what you need is ro.sf lcd density equals to and there would be some value so what you need to do is enter the value of dpi you want to change to so uh, my default dpi was 280 i wanted the small fonts so i <coughs> just changed it to 241 so i'm going to change it to 240 now and just press the back button make sure you don't mess with this file as it is really important okay when, uh, when you press the back button it says save your modifications you press yes and what you need to do is uh, restart your device reboot your device so <coughs> reboot just normal reboot and once the reboot completes uh, you'll see the your changed dpi in your phone sometimes uh, what happens is <coughs> in build.prop files you see that same line two times so you have to enter the dpi value two times and save it and then reboot and you will see that the, G, uh, the DPI would be changed and that's it this was an easy tutorial so if you have any questions and feel free to leave uh, comments and I'll just try to answer them by the way and if I helped you and if you are successfully changed your DPI so um, please like the video and leave a comment and please subscribe to my channel and that's it. This was me, Pushka Dua from Gadget Geeks, signing off. Subscribe. Yep.